Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is definitely not my typical place to shoot, but um, we are packing for Magic Las Vegas. If you're new around here, um, I'm a boutique owner, and so I have a clothing store in a mall around here. Um, we're in Sarasota, Florida, and then we also run our online store in there. So I like to share all the behind the scenes and stuff like that. And I wanna show you guys like what I'm packing for Magic. And while I do that, I'm gonna be talking about the um, like markets and stuff in general because they all basically work the same. Um, I'm in my comfy clothes. Literally, the shirt is so oversized. We actually just started selling it at the boutique. Um, it's so comfy. I think I'm gonna wear it to bed tonight. Um, but, okay, so I'm gonna show you everything I'm packing and I am going to talk about Magic. I leave tomorrow at 6 a.m. It is currently 8 o'clock and I'm just starting, so. Okay, I'm bringing this big suitcase. I'm flying Southwest and you can bring two like full-size <laughs> luggage, um, like checked bags on full on uh, Southwest. My mom is also flying with me, um, but we only need one bag each. There's no need for us to bring like four, but I am gonna pack this thing to the brim. I Okay, we're gonna be there um, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and then I think we're coming home Wednesday. So I have three days of market that I want to um, pick out outfits for, and look at our bags, they're so cute. Um, and so I picked up some stuff, obviously, from the boutique to wear. Not too much stuff. And honestly, you guys, like, you don't have to really dress up to go to markets and stuff like that. Like, I could literally wear this oversized t-shirt and throw a fanny pack on with some sneaks or something, and I would be more than comfortable in that. You just want to wear comfy shoes and, like, whatever you're most comfortable wearing. When I went to my first market, I literally wore, like, a dress and, like, dre like really tried to dress to impress. And you could totally do that. Um, I'm definitely going to be dressing a little bit more trendy than this trip um, and like actually <laughs> trying to look cute because I am working with magic and like shooting content for them and stuff like that so I obviously want to look cute in it um, and so that's why I'm packing some like more like trendy outfits I guess on Sunday we're just gonna go to Las Vegas apparel um, just because that show starts a little bit earlier and we're just gonna like go there and see um, some brands that are going there that aren't going to magic I think I'm just gonna get dressed casual that day because it's also a travel day I'm gonna be really tired um, but at the same time I'm also gonna be like excited so I might want to make some content so I don't know what I'm wearing what day I think it's just gonna depend on what mood I'm in but the things I picked up from my store were this blue blazer so I'm just gonna pair that with like a white tank underneath like this um or maybe I'll do taupe I'll bring both because everyone knows it's better to have more options when you pack so um I'm gonna do that with just some jeans so a blazer tank jeans and I'm just gonna like sort these outfits out here. I'm gonna bring these jeans. They're like a straight leg and just pretty basic. And I think that would go best with the blazer and the tank. And then for another like trendy outfit, I got, I picked up this tank top from our store today. It's like a sweater tank. It's really cute. It's actually pretty cold in Vegas um, in February. I feel like the first time I went there, I was like, oh, it's Vegas. Like it's the desert. It's hot, right? No, not in February. It's actually pretty cold. Um, so I will definitely be wearing like sneakers and, and um, jeans and stuff like that. And then I'm going to do these. These are like a baggy um, straight leg jean. And then I also got new um, shoe shop sneakers from our store too. I've been having my eye on these for a while and I don't have anything like them. So I decided to go ahead and get them today and I figured they would be perfect for my trip. They're so cute and I feel like they're gonna be so comfy to walk in. I feel like all shoe shop shoes are. So I'm probably gonna wear these, honestly, maybe even with both outfits. Mm, just kidding. I think I'm just gonna wear these with the sweater tank and the jeans. The blue blazer probably won't exactly be the move with this one. One of the questions that I get the most when I talk about market on social media is if everybody could go. So obviously if you're a boutique owner, you're watching this, you have a resale license, like you shop on Fashion Go, all of that stuff, you can 1000% go to Magic. You just have to like 
go to their website and you have to register as a buyer and like put in your credentials and everything like that. Um, but if you do not have a reseller's license and like an EIN number, like you're not a legit business owner, um, you can't go to the show. So this is like a wholesale show where you have to have license to buy wholesale. Um, another question I get a lot and all that stuff is like on their website too. So whether you're going to Magic or you're going to Atlanta Apparel or Dallas Market, any of those, just go to their website, like search it up on their website, see what you need to be a registered buyer there, and it'll give you instructions. You can literally call them. Everyone that works at any market I've ever dealt with is seriously so freaking nice. And then another question I get a lot too is like, can you just buy like one, like I, like one single thing? And the answer is typically no. So um, unless they're doing something with like some type of cash and carry and there's no minimums, cash and carry meaning like I can like buy the product and like literally take it home with me today, but really when you go to these shows, you're buying like wholesale, like as it sounds, um, typically in packs of six. So you're gonna be buying like two smalls, two mediums, and two larges of every top or every dress or whatever that you buy. And then they all have dates. So all the dates will tell you like when you'll get that shipment. So you don't take anything home with you. Typically, again, unless it's cash and carry, you just like are placing orders with your vendors. And then like if something is has like a March date, like it's gonna come in in March sometime. The day I want to be comfy at Magic, I'm gonna be basic and wear the same Lulu lemon scuba that I've been sporting around for days now. I literally got it for Christmas and love it. I need it in like every color. Um, and then I'll do the Lululemon flare pants. So <laughs> it's so funny. I obviously shop at my store the most and like have like a hundred. No, not 100. 90% of my clothes from my store, but the other 10% are Lululemon, I have to say. I just love their stuff so much, so I've always been buying Lululemon since college, and it's not gonna stop. Let's talk about Magic specifically, because it is my favorite market to go to. Um, so it's in Las Vegas. It's super easy to get to, because Las Vegas like has its airport. Um, obviously, there's just tons of like, Ubers and stuff around, so um, you know, you grab an Uber when you get there, and it's maybe like a 10, 15 minute drive to like, usually like the hotels like on the strip, or near the convention center. So the convention center is off the strip, but not too far away, and I love the location of it too, because like, like, there's so many good hotels and resorts like right around it um, last time we stayed at resorts world and this time we're staying at the Sahara I believe obviously I'll take you guys along with me while I'm there but um, I love magic because it only happens twice a year so I feel like it's like a more special or something like that like I just feel like um, I know the vendors that's their favorite show um, as far as like sales and stuff go because they make so much sales at magic um it happens like right before like the two biggest seasons so it happens like in august where where people are buying for holiday and winter and then it happens in february like after the holidays and everything have calmed down and um you're buying for like spring summer so i absolutely love it and all of the vendors have like the most insane setups like seriously so freaking cute so i cannot wait to see all of the inspo because like they'll like dress up mannequins and stuff like that and you know, I just wanna buy the whole outfit off the mannequin. So then I do that and then I make that same mannequin like in my store um, and my customers love it. So it goes full circle. I'm so obsessed with going there and they also have like so many fun events. Like literally they'll have like live music every single time they have like a crazy performer. For this show they're having Busta Rhymes. Like it's literally so cool. They also have like a launch like kickoff party thing too um, that they do at like a nightclub in Vegas. So you can like go to that if you want. They also just have like so many different like sip and shop events and so many different like um, information events too so you could learn um, about so many different things like social media and they have speakers anything that you could want like it is there and it is such a fun time mission too when you go to Vegas like there's so many good like food places and stuff to try so my mom and I always like try to like go out like one at least one night to like a restaurant that like we have been like scoping out on social media or something like that and try it out but we usually don't go out like every single night because we do get really really tired like whenever you go to market it's like so tiring um and so we'll probably do that like night one or something like that and then the next two nights we'll be like in our bed <laughs> with a snack um by like 8 p.m to wake up the next morning and go do some more buying. Okay, back to the packing. I picked out these 
six dresses to shoot. I was actually supposed to shoot them today, but it was like so cloudy and rainy. So I think I'm just gonna take them with me on my trip. I think I'm gonna have room for them. Um, and I'll just try to shoot like around the resort or something like that. Um, but yeah, these are all uh, boutique dresses and I cannot wait to shoot them. They're all so cute. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I've got packed so far. So these are my three outfits. I do need to pick out shoes for them still. So they're not going in quite yet. They're the main event. These are the dresses I wanna shoot. Um, this is like my extras pile. So I'm bringing a jean jacket and then like an extra sweater an extra tee and then like an extra like going out top in case I switch up my mind with any of these outfits okay, I'm literally packing so many shoes because I have the sneakers I showed you guys I have these on clouds I'm obsessed with these I want to like clean them a little bit because I just got them and I wore them to the dog bar the other night and they got a little bit dirty so I'm gonna clean these up and then I'm probably gonna wear these on the plane so and then these definitely don't take up too much room too, but I need a pair of sneakers to wear with a blue blazer. And although I'm really not going to be wearing these, I need something to shoot these cute dresses with. Okay, so I think I decided that I'm going to wear this outfit on the plane um, on the way there and then just wear it to market later. Or if I want to like change later, I will into like a different top or something. But I'm just going to wear that when I, we go to Las Vegas Apparel on Sunday when we get there. Don't mind my messy clothes on the floor. Um, and so this is kind of like a bulky outfit, so I'll wear this on the plane. And then I need to get a top for underneath of that too. And then I am gonna bring my bum bag. This is like my favorite bag to bring to market because it's right like on my chest and um, I can carry my business cards, my wallet, sunglasses, chapstick, whatever. <laughs> One thing about Vegas is you need chapstick. It's literally, like I'm from Florida, so there's like so much humidity in the air. I need chapstick when I go to Vegas. Also, one of my tips is to wear um, jeans when you go to market with pockets. I'm not doing it that day, clearly, but I try to wear jeans as much as possible because then you could slip your phone in your back pocket. If not, like you're carrying your phone around with you all day and it's annoying. Okay, now I'm packing camo leggings and a t-shirt just for the plane ride home because obviously I don't need anything fancy. Um, and I'm also bringing a sweatshirt, obviously along with like pajamas and stuff like that. I don't need to show you guys everything, but I always want to bring a sweatshirt because I don't know why, but like I literally like always like to sleep in sweatshirts in hotel rooms. It makes me feel like more like cozy and at home for some reason. Okay, let me break it down for you guys. I've got these clothes for the airplane I like to take this backpack just to travel with because my laptop fits in good and I could also bring um, my planner also in here I'm bringing um, I know this is so weird but I have really really bad anxiety so if by chance I have a panic attack or something on the plane I like to bring um, colored pencils and um, a coloring book because I'm like that is just like what makes me like calm down I guess I'm um, just like writing so I also bring this notebook to like write in all my pencils and stuff I'm bringing this book because I haven't started it like twice still haven't finished it um, you know the essentials just in case um, like I said you need a chapstick and then I, and then we have a uh, lipsticks um, connectors for my computer a light for content um, my airpods which I actually know are not in here so I have to charge these tonight and make sure they come with me um, this is where all my jewelry is um, I've got my wallet a, a pair of sunglasses I'm gonna travel with this so typically what I do is like I'll put um, just the stuff that I would need at the airport like my um, wallet and stuff in there and I've got my hair and makeup. Um, I'm obviously gonna, I'm gonna pack this in here tonight and then obviously I'll need it in the morning so I'll just kind of leave my suitcase open but it makes me feel better that it's in there. Um, business cards, you guys, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna like show you guys our business cards only because like it has a ton of personal information on it but I'm gonna tell you guys what's on them. You can see this, this is the front. Let me see if it'll focus. So this is the front. It has, it's actually a business card for my mom and I. So um, it has our names, co-owners, and then all of our social media accounts. But on the back, it has um, a little section just for me. It says Kate Uniski, um, my phone number, my email, like my Kate at Vogue Society Boutique one, which yes, it's my email. I just don't wanna show you guys like the billing and shipping and stuff. Um, but then we have my mom's phone number and like it says her name, her phone number, her email. And then on the side, I have shipping address and billing address um, just because when you especially like work with a new vendor, they always ask you like your shipping information and stuff like that. 
and you have to like fill out a form a lot so instead you just give them this little business card and say all my information's on here there you go and then they are able to just enter it into their system with that it's so such a time saver another thing I always bring with me is a portable charger because you're taking content and stuff on your phone all day and like you're taking pictures of the clothes and whatever um, and then obviously you have to be like posting on um, social media and um, answering customer like emails checking your Shopify all of that um, you got you, you have to have a, a wireless charger your phone will die like it will die okay besides for my laptop and like my charger and the things I'm using literally tonight I think we are all packed I'm just gonna leave everything out tonight so that way I am able to just get up in the morning our flights like at like almost 8 a.m. I think um, and so yeah I don't have much time to <laughs> sleep in or anything tomorrow so I want to make sure I'm really prepared all right, I am all done packing, so I figured I would just sit here for a second and talk to you guys about magic and just more of like what's it all about. Magic is definitely more than like just like going and buying for your store and like going home. It is like literally an experience. It is so much fun. I look forward to this like every single year. There was like once or twice that we weren't able to make it and I literally had the worst FOMO. So like if you're in the boutique industry, you know um, how like, much fun it is and like if you haven't been if you're a boutique owner and like haven't gone like it is 100% like worth the investment to go to market um I say this about a lot of things like anything with like education um networking travel with like especially like business trips and stuff like that like let's just say like the whole trip costs you $500 or something like that um which is a good price but let's just say it just costs you $500 you're traveling solo you got like a good flight um the hotels in Vegas are actually like really, really affordable. Um, and so it's a great place to have, like host it. And let's say when you go to Magic um, or go to any market, you find a wholesaler you've never heard of before, a really great like vendor um, or brand that you are like absolutely in love with and then you bring in like one piece um, and your customers like absolutely love it and it's your first like home run piece and you sell like a pack and then you're like oh my god I'm gonna call this under again and, like get another two packs and then you sell those packs because like literally it's like the hottest seller ever and then you and then your customers get obsessed with that brand and then they just keep buying like that right there made you $500 like so easily um it could also just be like a conversation that you have with someone there or it could also be like like one of the speakers that you listen to and you um hear an idea that makes you $500 like it all circles back around so I definitely think like every single time I have gone to magic I was like okay that is why I was supposed to go to this market because um I found like an amazing piece or like a new vendor I always find new vendors at um at magic and then also like the conversations that I I have and the the relationships you make too like the boutique hub usually has um a little um cocktail party and it's free even if you're not in the boutique hub you could go and you can get a little drink ticket and um just network with like other boutique owners and stuff it's literally one of my favorite parts of going so anyways i'm super excited our flight leaves tomorrow morning we're gonna be landing like in the afternoon-ish um in vegas we'll spend the afternoon um just like checking out las vegas apparel which is different from magic it's another um like newer show um but i'm just gonna head over there just for a little bit it's definitely not my main event magic is definitely my main event over there um but i just figured because i'm getting there a day early i can go check that out um and then magic starts on monday which i'm totally vlogging it and making so many tiktoks and stuff like that too that you guys love so um definitely look out for that and i cannot wait to talk soon bye guys be sure to subscribe to my channel if you love this